Eye Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. And back now in the CI Kitchen talking wedding trends for 2021. Do you hear that seal impression again? No! Dish Passionate Cuisines, Colleen Hatton is here with a bunch of interesting wedding trends and I was gonna say little food but it's not little food it's more just individual portions. individualized yes individual I think is gonna be a huge trend for the foreseeable future yeah unfortunately and, ain't nothing wrong with that no no I mean okay. I, and it does actually let folks be a lot more creative I made what I think is a super fun little individual charcuterie plate they have these adorable little tiny boards that you can buy and make individual charcuterie yeah, boards um, we've got a wedding that is actually doing, they're doing a taco buffet, taco bar, but for their hors d'oeuvres, everybody gets their own little personalized basket of chips and salsa and guacamole. Oh, nice. I mean, Smart. so I think it's just all about figuring out what you want and how to make it work for you, but make it safe. Yeah. So what is on your charcuterie board? What do you choose? Oh, so well, we've got some fun stuff. Um, I've got some great crackers. I love, I am obsessed with the multicolored bell peppers at Costco, like obsessed because they're red and yellow at the same time. Ooh. Wait, I haven't seen those. Um, I'm, I'm trying can to you, see. Can you hold I'm, I'm going to pick one up. Show it off. Yeah. So like, that's like, oh, you can see they're like the same. Tie dye. Oh, they're like tie dye. Wow. They look like gummy worms. They, do. they look like gummy I am worms. obsessed with these bell peppers. So yeah, we have them in everything now. <laughs> um, and then I've got a little Colby Jack, a jalapeno stuffed, um, Green olive with some salami and a little bit of white cheddar with some grapes, you know? But I mean, the great thing about a charcuterie board is make it what you like. Well, yeah, you can do it say, sweet, you can do it savory. Oh my gosh, yeah, we did a up. sweet one for Easter. Is We're gonna do like a brunch one for Mother's Day. Charcuterie boards and like all the different things it can take is just a huge trend now. Like, it, yeah. could, So you yeah. could like do one with candy and call it a oh, charcuterie? Oh, yeah. Yes. We did one for Easter that had like all sorts of cookies and candies for Mother's Day. I'm doing like a cheese cracker fruit, but I'm also making mini donuts oh. to go on it. So like a fruit. brunch. Don't tell the French. About Why? It. They have you seen these on TikTok? Because that was the French get really mad about all of our charcuterie boards. Mm -hmm. We're messing. Because it's not really a yeah. charcuterie but board anymore. Oh, we uh, we're just up creative. Okay. Pizza and all sorts of stuff too. So I mean, it's. Yeah. The but American it's okay. Way. It should be what you want it to be. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, let's talk getting in with Dish Passionate Cuisine and, and setting up these plans to do all of this fun stuff at your wedding because I'm sure you're booking like now. We are. We're booking, and I, I have a feeling that hopefully, if things are starting to head in the right direction, we're going to be double booking quickly because, well, you know what I mean? Wow. I think folks who postponed are going to want to get in. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <Tim. laughs> That's Tim's impression of a dog. <laughs> and it wasn't even on the, the salami over there. Trying to get out of the camera. Gave me away, Valley. You're being Valley. socially distant. We appreciate you. He's <laughs> good. He did a good job. Okay, tell Aaron what we we talked about earlier, yes. though, with the oh. drinks and the So we've got hummus. some little mini dips. So we've got roasted red pepper hummus with a little feta mm. and some spiced pita chips. Mason oh, jars sweet. are like individual mason jars are huge. And then sig uh, signature cocktails. Mm -hmm. So this is a watermelon rosé paloma. So it's got watermelon juice, like a pureed watermelon, rosé, a um, little sparkling water, and tequila. That sounds refreshing and perfect for the summer. I might need that because I just had that jalapeno <laughs> olive and woo, honey. It'll, it'll pair olive. quite nicely. I was going to get strawberita, but no. Oh, I like that. We're, kick, we're taking it up a notch. Yes, like... <laughs> It's more like, um, you know, refined cocktails. Because yes. you're having, a lot of folks are having smaller weddings. 